Hello and welcome to my room transmission. <laughs> Okay, first of all, before I begin, I just wanted to say one thing. I'm just very grateful to be here and moving to Guys and just been on my like list for the past year now, I'd say. Um, and I finally have gotten the opportunity to move up here and I'm very excited about it. So without further ado, let's decorate this bedroom. And not only this is not just a normal bedroom, this is a rented bedroom. So there's a lot of limits I have, like I'm not allowed to paint the walls, and I'm not allowed to put holes in the walls. Um, there's a lot of limits and I have to keep the furniture that's already here so it's trying to work around all that to create a space that's you know me <laughs> and looks nice uh, so without further ado let's get into this transformation Okay, so what are we working with? <laughs> so we have to keep the bed, and we have these wardrobes back here. Um, now what I already have, because, see this is why I always recommend, you know, starting to buy stuff, um, like furniture, mirrors, side tables, lighting, just because when you do move out of your home house, you move into your own kind of space, at least you don't have to go buying loads of new shit. <laughs> straight away and because the living on your own is expensive enough and um, so that's why I have accumulated a few items I decided to bring up with me and um, so what they are is my arched mirror you know I'm obsessed with this like this is one of my favorite things I own <laughs> uh, and I definitely recommend anyone out there to get one it comes in like a like a light oak kind of color as well which is really nice and um, I also have the rug so happy I have the rug because rugs are expensive and I don't have money to go buy a rug so thankfully I already have a rug um, and then I have my two side tables and they're not matching because the stool one broke <laughs> the other one of them broke and I don't know that it's gone so um at Terry Kelly <laughs> um, and the other one is a side table I got I don't know why I have it but I just got it because I thought it was nice like I think it was a year ago I got it and then I have my vase my flowers, well, my eucalyptus plant, my candlestick, um, and like the marble tray. And that's everything. So I have my accessories and my kind of basics. Um, so what I need to get is a new lampshade for up here, because this one is disgusting. Um, I need to get some lamps for either side of my bed, because at the moment there's just the ceiling light, and then you know when you're in bed and you want other kind of lights, you can't like, you don't want to be getting up every time. So I need to get new like kind of side lamps, um, and then new art prints, and that should be it. Um, so without further ado, let's just go. Okay, so it is now time to get everything ordered for this room, um, which would be nice to get done because uh, just the thought of it is giving me anxiety and my bank account is shaking <laughs> um, because I'm not really spending money, but it's all in good fun. So let's just, let's get out of ordering. Okay, so for this room, like, I don't want it to be anything crazy. Like, I just want just light accessories, if that makes sense. Like, I don't, like, it's, we can't do anything. We can't get rid of the bed, unfortunately, because, you know, if we could, this bed would be out of here. <laughs> out of here. And also, them curtain poles would be raised way up. But we can't do that. We have to work with what we got. And this is the realistic thing for people who are renting. Um, so, what I want to get is, um, I want to kind of just keep it very minimal. Um, a bit of fun. Um, I'm just gonna pick things I like really and not really think too much about it because this is my space. <laughs> so there's no really rules <laughs> or brief. Um, it's kind of just what I wanted to put in and what I feel like. So we're in Zara because Zara is like the, my go-to for um, stylish, affordable pieces. Um, so from Zara, I'm, I'm gonna get my light from Zara. I know that for a fact because I just have a feeling it's gonna be good um and i really like how they've laid out their home section their website and stuff i do like the idea of this but see we can't wire anything so it has to be something that has a plug or a shade um like for the ceiling light it can't be anything that has to be wired it has to be oh this is perfect usb rechargeable spotlight because it's not a big room it's a very small room and i think something like this would be really good like kind of on my table here um, because it's where I leave my washer and I put my phone charging and 
like it would be nice to have something that doesn't take up a lot of space but still gives the effect of a light if that makes sense so i'm gonna add this to my basket oh, i want to see what size this is because uh it's height it's only it's not even 30 centimeters high that's tiny for this better be nice when it arrives because i'm <laughs> 45 euros will smack me i love these these i've had my eye on these for a while and um, i just think there's something so classic about these they're so simple so minimal um, like they get the job done without taking over the space which is what I need I don't want anything that's big and chunky and heavy the lighting is just kind of just a, a light accent this one could work because it has like a brass kind of thing on the um, lamp part which would tie in either side so for the tall one here and the small one here that could look really cool so i'm just gonna add this into my cart as well let's have a little look and see what else is down here in the lighting sec these are really nice as well uh the lamps with the handles and i really like these but i love how these vintage kind of pieces are becoming like really trendy it's really cool to see sarah is a dangerous spot to go because it's just like overwhelming uh will we have a look no we have a mirror but let's have a look at the mirrors anyway and see what's here um oh love that i love oh i love uh where is it now this one here I love the shape of that. I think it's really nice. If it was bigger, I'd like if it was bigger. But no, but this one, guys, 100 euro for a full length mirror. That has a cool shape and goes with everything. It's definitely worth it. You should have to get it. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I wish it was. Hello, Zara. How are you? If you wanted to, you know, ship me a few free items, that would be amazing. I wouldn't say no. Um, I need curtains, actually. So let me see what curtains. See. I'd love to have like, you know, the linen ones that are see-through and very relaxed, but I have no shade or like um, blind on this window. So I need something that has <laughs> a lining because I don't fancy being seen from the apartments over the road <laughs> getting changed. That's not my bucket list this year. So let's just come out of curtains. Um, cushions. Now, I'm not going to lie, I already ordered my cushion and it's here. <laughs> I ordered this one here. Um, I just think this is nice. Very simple, minimal, like this. The tall lamp, the brass lamp, the mirror, the art prints. I think um, it will look really nice. Du, 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 du. Okay, right, let's come out of Zara. Okay, so what, where's next? Um, the Poster Club. The Poster Club, I think, is such an amazing site for prints. I just think the quality is just exceptional it's so good and i mean it's not as like affordable as the senior like it's still really affordable um, and they look like really like hand painted works which is really cool i'm gonna pick these off camera because it is going to take me a long time i know that for a fact i'll be here for at least an hour and a half picking out prints <laughs> because i like to see every option possible put them together and then make my choice so i'm i'm gonna spare you that journey because it's gonna be a messy one so i'll check back to you when I pick my print. Actually, before I disappear for an hour and a half, um, I'm going with a 50 by 70 and a 50 by 50, um, just because I want it to be like just over a meter in length in total, but I want like a height variation. I don't want them to be the same height or um, too long. So yeah, 50 by 50 by 50 by 70. Now, I'll check back with G in a minute. Okay, so um, <laughs> an hour and a half later, <laughs> um, I have my two prints picked out. So I picked the Purple Poppies um, by Madeleine Mullard. I just think this one's really cool and funky um, and I like the colour in it. It's out of my kind of comfort zone, which I like. I just, I don't know why, there's something about it that I'm attracted to and I really like it. And then I also got this one, October. Zero two. I just think this one's stunning as well, and I think it works really well with this guy up here. And this has come to a total of 168 euros. So I mean, it's not cheap, <laughs> but for art, I think it is um, very good value. So um, I'm happy with them. I'm going to get two black pr frames off the Senio just because the Senio and um, basically the Senio ones is half the price as the same quantity on here. So just an FYI for you. Um, the frames on this are a lot nicer, but there's not much, you, like, you won't be able to see the difference if you kind of feel the difference, if that makes sense. So, yeah, um, it's not a big deal to me. It's on a budget, so um, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, so these are all the new items I got. Um, this is my new floor lamp. The 
uh, frames, prints, new lighting for up here. Because, like, is that not just the most disgusting I've ever seen in your life? Um, it is for me. Um, and a new cushion for my bed. Um, so let's open this stuff up. Um, so this, I just want, like, a really simple, like, kind of cone shape. Because um, I think that one at the moment is, like, way too high up. I wanted to bring it down. Don't do this. Don't tell me. No. No. I cannot believe that. No, I cannot believe that. Damn it, add thing at the bottom. So it goes like that. I don't want it to go like that. I'm gonna, I'll put it up anyway and see what it looks like, but like I'm not very happy with that. I thought it was gonna be this. Like it was gonna be down here, so it's gonna hang down like this. But obviously not. Oh, that's annoying because there's another option as well that I had, but I decided to go with that one instead because it was a simpler, you know. Okay, next up is my floor lamp. This, I'm very excited to see what this looks like. Um, this isn't even that expensive, I don't think, which is good. Yes, I'm still limping because my leg is still um, injured. It's not like fully healed yet, but we're making progress. Oh, I hope there's not much assembly to be done because I will cry. Yeah, that's pretty cool and it moves. I like this. Okay, never mind. You've reclaimed yourself, sir. <laughs> when I tell you, I'm so excited to see these prints. Like it's an understatement. Like I'm so excited to see what these look like. So let's open. Them. Ooh, these are very well wrapped. These are from um, the Poster Club. Print number one. I'm not going to show you it too much because I do want like the. Seems to be a surprise. And print number two. Cool, okay. Alright, um, and I'm just gonna open up the. Sorry, I'm just gonna open up the frames. God, when I tell you this is a job and a half, I'm not even lying. Anyone renting, this is going to be the tip for you. Um, if you're wanting to hang art prints, obviously you can't put holes in the wall. So um, you get your art, your frame, and you get yourself some command strips. This is the brand that I always use. It's literally just command. If that wants focus, this one here. Um, I always use the large ones. Um, for bigger prints just because you want them to stay, you want them to fall down and knock you unconscious in the middle of the night. So, um, yeah, use them. <laughs> use them. This is the part that makes me nervous because, <laughs> oh, I just hope it goes up straight. Well, it's, um, it's gonna have to be straight, isn't it? No, this one's gonna be more difficult because I can't kneel on the bed of this knee because it's one so far. Um, should I put them up higher? No, no, they're at a, they're, yeah, they're at a fine height. My curtains came from next. I just pulled them out, it's like a white linen, and um, I'm excited to put them up. I'm gonna start by removing the actual curtain pole itself. Such an amazing moment, taking out the curtain pole. Gonna open this up and see what this looks like. Okay. Good. That's not going to do. It's too much. Ah, okay, okay. Right. Breathe again. Just breathe. They do need like a good steam, I think, anyway. Yeah, definitely. I'm not gonna be able to do this. It's a lot thing. I thought I would get the easy option, but no, I'm not. I think you put on the fucking ox. Go. Oh, hello, and welcome to my room. <laughs> okay, it's been a while since I filmed one of these on my own, but um, <laughs> here we are. Um, so, if you come in, I'll give you a little look around and see what I've done to change the space. Okay, so.
So over in my mirror area, I have this beautiful mirror that I got from Zara Home and you've already seen it already. I love this mirror so much. Um, and then it's added in my little stool here with my marble tray and my brass lamp. This is so cute, like I love this so much and it doesn't have a cord which is amazing um, because who wants to have a cord under bedside lamp? <laughs> not me um well not when you don't have to love this area and then over here if we come along then we have my foot art prints hung by me <laughs> um, i love these so much i don't know what it was about this print specifically that gravitated towards me towards it i just thought it was so beautiful and um, i love the color in it um, and normally i'm a very black and white kind of person um, i'm not really like a colorful person but recently i've been really getting into color and I'm very thankful that I have been because look at this, it's so pretty and it's by M. Mullard and it's pretty cute. These are from the poster club and I just thought this one kind of was complemented nicely. It was like that kind of, I like that shape and the kind of asymmetry of it. I just think it's really nice. Like I really like these and like you can see like the pencil sketch, which I think is really nice. Um, it's just very soft and I think it kind of matches doesn't take away from like the space, which is nice. Because remember, we're working with the wall color and this ugly bed. I hate this bed so much. Um, like, you know, if I had my way, this would be gone. You'd be the first thing to go. Yes, you would. Them and the wardrobes also, and I'd be painting the woodwork and I'd be painting the walls and I'd be getting a different kind of lighting feature completely and these curtain poles, would, this curtain pole would go as well. And I'd get a different curtain pole and they'd be up way higher. Um, but alas, <laughs> here we are. We have to work with what we got. And then over here, I have my little, little cute lamp. This is so pretty. I think this is such a nice piece for like any room, like a living room, bedroom dining space and it just works so well like it goes everything it's literally it's mine its own business over here it's not taking up any space like visually when you see this it just just looks like a line and this is like completely adjustable as well which i really like um so when you're reading <laughs> not that i'd be doing any reading but like if you are a reader this is a good idea you know it's you can have it a bit closer and it's like a nice kind of little night light and also these lights aren't very bright which is nice so like when you're in bed and you don't want that harsh seating light these are amazing this one is a bit too dim <laughs> i'm not going to lie the usb one but i think it's because it needs to be charged but um i think once it's charged it'll be fired up again. Over here in my area down here, this is kind of just like accessories. I could already use this side of the bed. That's the side of the bed I use um, for my phone and my charger and everything. This side is just to look pretty. So I have, fun fact about my eucalyptus plant actually, there's only one stem here at the moment um, because I don't know if you remember my brother's room that I recently done, I put in like a eucalyptus, a eucalyptus plant as like a staging item, like just for fun um, and to make it look nicer because he didn't want to pay for one and then I'm not like, he won't give it back to me now. So I'm stuck with one stem, um, which is great, but um, I would like my other stem back. And I just have my little hands. I've had these for so long, guys. When like these kind of items are such good things to like buy, I think just because you can put them anywhere and they work. Um, like this will go with literally with any type of style and in any situation, it's just really handy. And it's cool for your jewelry sometimes as well. I just put in here like that and it's, nice and safe there and I know where they are in the morning time when I'm running around trying to find them <laughs> and then whilst over here I got new curtains I love me some good curtains so I got these kind of white linen ones and they're lined which is good so like no one can see me changing next door which is ideal um that was one thing I wanted like the linen lock curtains but like most of them are see-through um and I don't have any blinds so I couldn't really go putting in um these through curtains because I'm not about to have um, news leak. <laughs> so yes, that's why I have these curtains underlined and they're from Next and they're only 100 euros. So they're good value. Okay, and then over here, um, I just have my little candlestick with my candle that I DIY'd. If you haven't seen that DIY, go check it out. And then I have a beautiful picture of me and my friend Tara. Tara with my birthday and I have a black frame so it matches in with my black frames above the bed which is handy and then I just have my two books here the YSL one cat book book these are great as well they're on Amazon they're so cheap um, and then I have my 
how to be an overnight success book. And did you know it takes an average of 10 years to become an overnight success? Okay, so the bedding. Um, yes, it's all white and it's beautiful. Uh, as you can see, I have this really nice throw that I also want to put on my bed. I think it's really nice to have this. If you haven't seen my first room transformation, it's on that. Um, I really like it. And then I have this new cushion, um, which I also really love. It's from Zara. And it's so simple, it's actually really nice to cuddle with. <laughs> um, it's really nice. Um, and then just white cushions. I actually got new pillowcases just for this video. One of the ones and got some nice like Egyptian cotton ones because the ones I had were all mixed match and they weren't for the one set and it really pissed me off. But um, that's now been resolved. So that's my room guys. Oh, and then also my lamp up here. If you notice, I don't know DIY job. Um, yeah, so basically this lamp up here, remember I was saying that the thing was down here well i removed it <laughs> i removed it and pushed up to the top so that i could have this kind of longer moment because i didn't like it the other way um, um and then use the wardrobes what's behind the wardrobes well you might do that in a separate video maybe like a ooh, 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 a closet ooh, ooh, organization or something video i don't know um but yeah that's my room guys Thank you so much for watching um, and let me know what your favourite if that's not smoke. I, my hair is really annoying me to off, like I can't even get over it. It's so like dry or something, like it's not like holding its shape, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, what's your favourite? My favourite is the art. I love the art so much. Um, I hate this bed so much, like it's so like yellow or something. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.